Today I'm going to show you a couple of different modifications you can make to your Hubson X4 H107C with a 2.0 megapixel HD camera. I'm also going to show you the voltometer test between a dead battery and a good battery. And lastly I'm going to show you uh, the different things you can do with the controller that comes with the unit. It uh, can be calibrated, it can be set to anti-flip mode and expert mode uh, with the sequence of a couple of different presses of the joysticks. We'll start off with um, the modifications I've made to my Hubson and um, first of all I cut out a little notch in the plastic piece that goes um, basically in the back compartment. Uh, it allows for the battery to come in or come out and go back in without any issues and I've put uh, some glue on there as well as you can see right there holds it much better it also avoids pulling the cables off of the motherboard uh, which is easily done on this unit and you may have noticed my LED lights are aiming downwards uh, this is a must do I feel I mean it allows for night flight and perfect I mean you can see it so well it is super bright I think they should have done this from the factory and I'm sure on the next revision of this model they'll they'll consider it. Um, so I don't know if you can focus way in on that, but that's really good. Uh, you can also see that I've kept the guard on there. I feel it makes no difference in flight quality, flight duration, battery life, all that good stuff. That aside, the controller, I'll turn that on and of course in order to uh, connect you also have to connect your drone. Alright, so there you go. The controller itself has a couple of different features. First of all, to calibrate it, turn it down right and let me put the unit right there. Can you see that? Alright. You are going to watch for lights, but what you want to do is down right and back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until it blinks. Now it's been calibrated. Also, you can put it in expert mode by pressing down the right joystick if you're in mode 2. Right joystick, and you'll notice it goes in expert mode. And if you want to make sure that it's in anti-flip mode as well, you press down this controller right here, our joystick on the left. And you'll hear a beep. Alright, so now you're in anti-flip and you're in expert mode. Also, a really good tip, uh, some advice if you're planning on doing some altitude flights, um, is to use rather than the joystick to go back and forth, right to you know front to back, all that good stuff. Use the buttons. Um, once you have it set perfectly, you know you'll go up, and you'll notice the wind is going to hit you to the right. So rather than using the joystick to push to the right, I like to then use my buttons at the bottom to get it to aim perfectly and fight the wind without me having to do the joystick. It allows for a perfect image, smooth image, no jitter, nothing. And the same goes for front and back movement. Use your buttons once you're up in the air and get it to sit perfectly and then you can just keep keep rising up in the air and then go to max altitude. I've done this many, many times. Perfect, uh, perfect flight. Lastly, I'm going to show you my voltometer and the batteries. Like I said, the blue battery is dead battery and the gray battery is still good. So I like to, well, you have to put the black on black. And right now it's still reading zero. And this is kind of tricky, but let's see if I can get this. Put it down. Okay. And it reads 3.56. Now, on a full battery, you want to read anywhere from 3.75 and up. So this would make the light on the charging USB cord come on because it is below 3.75. If I hit the charged battery, it should read 3.75 or above. Let's do that. And... Wow, that one's nice and full at 4.20. The charging USB cable will put out um, right about that level, almost five. 
So um, there you go. That is all the modifications and the uh, hints of advice I have for you today. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, Dutch Mike.